This video is sponsored by Wix Filters, manufacturers of filters for automobiles, trucks, off-road equipment, and manufacturing applications. Go to wixfilters.com for more information. kinds of people in this world. People who are on camera, people who aren't. And I'm not. Wait, you're, you're filming me right now, aren't you? Driver facing cameras. Spend any time online and you'll know as well as I do that drivers are typically not fond of them. Yes, I've talked to drivers who actually have good things to say about them, but I think it's fair to say that they haven't been painted in the same light as something like, say, TPMS, a technology with little debate about its effectiveness. But how are driver facing cameras from the whole of the fleet's point of view? Straight business. Well, one argument is that the potential benefits of driver-facing cameras do not outweigh the cons, namely upset drivers who may leave the fleet. You know as I do that there's a driver shortage and fleets are increasingly prioritizing their drivers. Look no further than modern sleepers with all their creature comforts or the driver's lounges found at many fleet and OEM service shops as an example of this. Some fleets also use the truck's telematics data as a camera replacement. By looking at this data, you can tell what the driver is doing in the cab without actually seeing the driver. You can tell what percentage of the time her foot is on the accelerator pedal, when she hits the brake or the clutch, whether she's got cruise on, what the RPM is in the truck, even whether the blinker's on in a turning incident. If you have done that much detail on data, do you need a camera? Now let's look at the other side of the issue, the argument for driver facing cameras. Is there a solid use case? Well, the first and most recognized reason is so the fleet can see what is going on in the cab, especially during a critical event, including minute details regarding the circumstance. This is fairly common in the industry to learn of unwanted behaviors and help coach drivers to improve their safety performance. Second, there is now technology that utilizes real-time machine vision algorithms to detect the presence and movement of drivers and passengers. These features can help notify fleets of the presence of an unnecessary passenger or help turn off the in-cab camera when the driver is not in the seat driving. These functions can be further enhanced to monitor for distraction and drowsiness. But, and this is huge, if fleets want to take advantage of driver-facing cameras and all the technology I just talked about, it's important that the fleet sets up a process for reviewing and using the video properly and regularly. Otherwise, that fleet may find all that information they went through the trouble of gathering could turn into a liability. If the fleet is vigilant in its review, keeping detailed logs regarding what they saw and what actions they took as a response, Inward-facing cameras are a great way of providing an extra layer of security for drivers who have been falsely blamed for a collision. Video captured from an inward-facing lens will verify the condition of the driver and, in case of a claim against the driver, can provide a strong defense to show he or she was alert and attentive, saving both the driver and fleet from potential litigation and the trouble that comes along with it. Of course, every fleet is different, and some may decide that they don't want or need the cab-facing camera, which is why video telematic solutions in the marketplace tend to make the inclusion of driver-facing video optional. No matter how you feel about the idea of driver-facing cameras, the best way to implement them is by prefacing their installation with clear communication to your drivers about what these cameras will capture, how they will work, and how this will help not just the fleet, but the driver too. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.